Autocorrelation. This tutorial covers the autocorrelation inside AMS Machinery Manager version 5.5 or higher. The autocorrelation coefficient function is a mathematical process used to determine how much of a waveform energy is periodic. The amplitude scale is always from minus 1 till plus 1. If the amplitude value is near zero, almost all of the waveform energy is from a fault generating mostly random impacting, for example, a lubrification fault. If the amplitude value is near one, almost all of the waveform energy is from a fault generating mostly repeatable impacting, for example, a bearing fault. Let's first of all take a closer look how the function is working inside the software. In this software, from two different measurement points, a waveform is selected. This is the waveform measured on a roll element bearing on a blower. This is a waveform from a centrifugal pump also measured on the bearing. If we take a closer look to the two waveforms, it's relatively difficult to tell if inside this waveform there is repeatable or random data. Now, an easy way to find out is select the waveform, do a right click, and activate autocorrelation. Now, in this autocorrelation signal, the impact level is close to 1. That means that the data is very repeatable. If we compare it with the other waveform, the value is close to 0. So there is no repeatable data inside this waveform. Now, what is the process? A waveform will be multiplied with himself and the total energy will be normalized to a value of 1. Then the waveform will be copied once again with himself, but the copy of the waveform is moved one data point to the left and then multiplied with the original waveform. The energy is calculated again and normalized. As a result of this, periodic data will be showing off as periodic and random data will be random. Very often it is difficult to judge if data in a waveform is random or periodic. Autocorrelation will help here. To make it more visual, we will show you now two video tutorials. In the video tutorial, you will always see a blue waveform, and that's the original waveform. Then the brown one is a copy of the blue one, and the green one is a total energy, so is a sum of the blue and the brown. So we will show you first the animation of a repeatable signal and for the repeatable signal we have selected a sinus. So the blue one is the original one, the brown one is a copy of that and the brown one is always moved one data point to the left. The green one is the sum at any moment in time of the blue and the brown one. And the energy inside the green one is over the time is represented here. And we see clearly that a perfect sinus after the autocorrelation process gives another perfect sinus. In the next animation, you will see exactly the same data points, but now the data points are placed inside a random order. So here, once again, the blue one is the original waveform, the brown one is the copy, and the green one is the sum of the two. And on the right side, we see the sum inside the green signal at any moment in time. And we see that the autocorrelation coefficient goes very fast to zero. So summary, repeatable data 
has a high autocorrelation value, random data has a low autocorrelation value. Now we will take a closer look to some examples. On the left side, you see a waveform, in this case a peak view waveform, but high impacting levels, still roughly 45 Gs. The fundamental question here is, is this data repeatable or random? If we execute the autocorrelation process on this waveform, the autocorrelation factor is close to zero, so we have a lubrification issue. And these are the pictures from the bearing where you can see clearly the lubrification problem. In the second example, we have on the left side a waveform with impact level from minus 20 till 20, so also roughly 40 Gs. The question is here once again, is the data here random or repeatable? If you perform the autocorrelation process on this waveform, you have impact levels in the autocorrelation process till roughly one. So very repeatable. And here is a proof. This was the bearing inside, and you see clearly a heavily damaged bearing. We are now at the end of this section. Check our website for other products and software movies. Thank you for watching this tutorial.